going to just pick the first bead just a little bit clear. I feel I need some light though, it says no. And just to get a little base so then I can um I can add some star randomly star and moons here. You can let it um, place it randomly, or you can really like um, make them lay on however you prefer. I can like them randomly as well. So if you're happy with this, just tap. A thin layer of clear. So then later when I apply the pink on, it's not, it's gonna go nicer and smoothly. I would blend this right here. It's gonna be a connection between the clears and the pink. I will blend them this part just a little bit thinner. So then when you put the pink on, it's gonna look so nice and I blend together. Great. So now I am going to pick the pink part, pink powders right here. Um, there's so many different way to do ombre, but I want to show like one out of so many different techniques. So we'll pick the first bead. This bead, I am going to blend it down. So it's great for beginners. Sometimes if I find out, it's great for me as well if I'm doing a long, really long nails. And some color is really hard to blend. It's good to get like two beads for the pink blending down and I think I'm happy with the first one I'm gonna pick up another bead and work on the cuticle now you can get it cuticle is blending it to make it nice and perfect just really gentle with this always doing it towards the center of the nail so keep the shape of the nails nice hey Brad I'm gonna pick the clear and here's a wedge you want to have them Cap it. You want to cap between the clears and the pink. So later, when you shape and you file them, any other set of nails you want to worry about is accidentally getting over or too much filing or overhanded. Great. I will do just a little bit on the free edges right there, and then we'll let this nail set for few minutes. You see when you do all 10 nails, this one will be ready for us to shape again. So let's put this on the sides. We can even like just coat this or we can do some uh, flower on this one later. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let me show you final look. Great. Let's move on to the next one. We can do the next one in nude colors. Um,
Hello everyone, hi Instagram. Welcome to Glitz Assessing and Such. Live tutorial to share with you. And so again, we're gonna pick up just the smaller bits of clear. There are so many different ways to do encapsulating. Is this one of the way I would like to share with all of you. Um, this one we're gonna do. I have a little glitter on this side. I pick up right here. You show that one on the screen right, this one right here. This one right here. This one I did. You can do few um, polka dot glitter or you can do a lot of them. It's really, it's up to you. Sometimes I just pick few of them. But also you can do a lot if you want to because there was really um, light. It doesn't look too busy. Let's put a okay, close spring. Right. I'm going to cap that with thin coat of clear first before I am going to ombre the yellow. I think you can do pink or you can do yellow. Again, this one is really thin coat. to move that away. Can you open this one? I'm gonna get one of the yellow one. We'll test this yellow. Cap pastel yellow, everyone. Looks good. So first, I'm gonna get the first bead right to where my first line in. When it's still wet, I'm gonna blend this using the body of the brush. using whole body of it because then that way if you're using the tips of the bristles is usually wipe off all your colors because you put most of pressures in there so if you're using a body of your bristle to just like hold it flat it's blending out nicely now as you're gonna go into the next beat you can do one beat it works great for if you start doing a lot of ombre. One beat is great for beginners. If you want two beats, you're breaking it two beat this really helps so much in It's a little bit too small though. Can you zoom it in? So I'm gonna clear. I'm gonna do clear coat to cap right here between the yellows and the clear. I'm 
teal the nails down a little bit. Hey, fancy fingers. Hey, Nella. Hello. Hi, everyone. Dajo Digis. <laughs> Jennifer. Yes. I know, right? Because we haven't got the liquid and powder for a while. Matter of fact, I've been doing a lot of that, though. Would you like any of you, you curious and want to see the dipping and color blocking and dipping ombre? Let me know in comments right now so then I can do it maybe tonight because I make it up today for tomorrow and then you're going to start seeing me going like a lot more as well. Just a little bit. And Sarah also going light tonight as well. I think it's at 5.30 on Facebook. So if you're all tuning in, Sarah's always have a great ideas of doing um, a lot of different designs. Great. So I'm going to wait for this one. Let's do the next one. Okay, let this one set. Move to the next one. We can get the next one. I will share with you to do a pink and white and some butterflies. And I have um, American whites from Chisos, and then I'm using a nude colors number 14. Just a natural nails. Pick up my monomer. 